fucking noise. Peace, love. I am your host, Chris Kane. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. That's www.youtube.com slash Battles and Beast Mode Battles Gold. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, all that shit. My co-host hey. and the legend. Hey, follow me on Instagram at Staying Home Tonight. Even, Even though I'm out tonight. tonight. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much it, man. I was have a good battle here, boys. Uh, I have the co-host. Joey Gambello, Mafia, Make Money Not Friends. Can I get a fucking beast mode, yo? Beast mode! Titan Tags, KOTD Shredded, Street Legend. <laughs> Whoa, what? That's a shred? It's a shredded. Uh, shredded. I don't know what you did. And my final call. <laughs> <laughs> KOTD Street Legend. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let's go. Okay, crazy fucking battle. Crazy pop battle. Off. No further ado, battler to my right. Introduce yourself. Chicago Steve, XQZ, Let's no go. coach, Chicago. Zoo faculty in this bitch. Let's go. Long overdue. Long overdue to have this man on our stage. It really is. And yo, battler and the champ. To my left, introduce yourself. A1, day one, Moss Band shit. I did it too, and y'all did it too. <laughs> A1's going first. Okay, we did not need to flip a coin. A1 decided he's going first. So when A1's ready, it's on A1. Everybody hold Whoa. the fuck down. Respect the battle. Let's go. I see Steve been dealing with some issues lately. Guess everything comes full circle. Nowadays, he's a battle rapping advocate for mental health. That's like Dracula doing a Give Blood commercial. <laughs> you told Ellipsis you got adult coloring books that should be framed for the Louvre and an anxiety blanket that weighs more than them too? So what you really said was you're a stage four recluse whose brain forms a view that straight morphs you to an insecure little bitch at the trace form of a few. What you need to go to your little safe space, meditate for a few? Bitch, please, listen, Steve, I'ma be straightforward with you. You need to man up. Get better with the pain like ransom. This is everything you're afraid of happening and some. Amped up, stand up. It's time to face your demons, and this the one the devil ran from. Which brings us to today, and your fragility of late. All them panic attacks over battle rap, the shit is a disgrace. It's derivative of him being raised, oblivious to pain. He was sheltered, so now before he hits a stage, we watch him wither away. His thoughts ridden with angst, brain fire and waves, information flooding like a hurricane, obliterating Floridian estates. Yeah. Like a hurricane, like a hurricane obliterating Floridian estates. He can't take the pressure, starts to hyperventilate. It's only human. You going through a little phase of evolution. Grow up like the erased pygmy lineage that didn't leave a trace. I've seen things in a typical day. I'm not at liberty to say. Ain't got shit to prove. Already put the ranks in disarray. Lou was moving shaky. In lieu of that, we threw him up in his place. I guess the critically acclaimed just keep their distance where it's safe because I'm clinically ins I guess the critically acclaimed just keep their distance where it's safe because I'm clinically insane like Timothy McVeigh. I leave a city in the I guess the critically acclaimed keep their distance where it's safe because I'm clinically insane like Timothy McVeigh. I leave a city in dismay. You get no pity today. Stop it, Steve. Maybe in the States, not with me. You could say a Hail Mary, saving grace, Apostles' Creed, it's obsolete. You made it to a place where we pray every day, especially on the week. I said, I said what's poppin', Steve. He knows I'm only speaking facts plus tax. In order to grasp that state of healing, he gon' have to face the feeling like Bieber after the vax. Listen, no soul con. I need you to understand how pissed and unmotivated I am to go from what was planned to the wish your own replacement. Let's, let's get specific, you mental midget. This is where his mind begins racing. Out of spite for this occasion, your fiance got her brains fucked out from behind while you were on a vacation. That's right, I bust all over her face. And then she smiled in amazement. Turned around and wiped it off with your anxiety blanket. <laughs> Round one on A1. Round one makes a fucking noise. Round one on XQZ when he's ready. Yep. Oh shit, this is gonna be a weird battle. I said, uh, <laughs> from one league champ to another, I want to see you build a legacy. I'm not gonna act like I'm way above you or something. You know the shit that you'd expect from me. I'm not gonna lie and say you paid me for this battle, because I have a little more integrity. Technically. You paid the entry fee, and then eventually, it went to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Yeah! 
I had about a round and a half done when I got checked at the at, when I got checked at the border. Because when I went to watch him, I weighed my options, which were not prep or be tortured. But they told me XL. <laughs> but they told me XL the fight because he don't got many supporters. Should I will Microsoft XL the fight? A one's top left on the corner. This. Ooh! We got, a, we got another one of those. Look how intricate my pen game is, dude. Man, you're not as dope as you think. You take it months, the type of shit we rode in a week. My pen is like the, the octopus that the audience watching hockey at the Joe Lewis Arena throws to the rink. Ooh. I am so fucking cold with the ink. That's how you ride. What? Ah. It was a fire fire, though. Say you, so you woke up thinking it's game day when we're really scrimmaging. Nothing you do will seem significant. The fans ain't even listening. This is like when Notre Dame has those little warm-up games with Eastern Michigan. They knew the outcome before they, I said this is like when Notre Dame had those little warm-up games with Eastern Michigan. They knew the outcome before they even put their order for season tickets in. Type of match I take because I got bigger ones new because I got bigger ones soon and I need conditioning. Type of match I could just bench all the starters to keep it interesting. See the differences? What? Compared to me, he's barely even battle tested. You chop Skrilla into Bitcoin, you about to see how that bad investment matters. Manifested. The audacity. Yeah. The audacity. Yeah. I said the audacity to ask if I can handle how advanced his pen is is like asking pathogenic what's his least favorite travel method. Nah. <laughs> no. I didn't know other people were gonna have that far tonight. My bad. Shout out to Path. All jokes aside, that's my dude actually. And you know, while we're on the topic, speaking of zoo faculty, you were shaking like a bitch against that boy Chuck. Yeah. Mentioned lead in their drinking water and got booed out the Detroit venue. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think you should have drank their tap water and just so you'd have some fucking poison, you bro. That was the Whoa. one time. That was the one time you left your bubble and battled in the U.S. Perfect example of the difference between these amateurs and true vets. We're strategic. I approach every battle exactly how I view chess. So when I think A1, I just see a rook that hasn't made a move yet. Yes. Yes. What? You can't have a league champ that can't win without his friends there to gas him. I mean, I know franchises on Smack, Joey and Pep got the events that they're planning. I've seen crazy performances on I Battle from Levin from Yasmin, but they're pretty much retired now, so that never would happen. But pick anyone else in beast mode that's won some away games, and they should get to be champion. You know, someone like... Yeah, beautiful weather we're having. Yeah. That's <laughs> not one. Let's go. Fucking nice. Beast mode. Round two on A1 when he's ready. Let's go, B1. Let's go. Turn up. Hey, hold it down. <clears throat> For the record, yeah. I was more than willing to support the rest of the roster watching the show just chilling. But they had to force the fill-in. So now it's Hotel Rwanda, I gotta resort to killing. And I keep something up my sleeve whenever. Yeah. So Steve, we gon' need a decent effort. Are you going on the shelf to open doors for me like secret levers? You know what rhymes with he be bill collector? What's that? Who gives a fuck? This guy's a dweeb. <laughs> the, sim the simple Steve with the flamingo beak and some crippling anxiety. <laughs> what you trying to be the new box office release? Bitch, cop a seat. I'm too far beyond your means. I've already Tony Khan the scene, which means I'm all elite. And growth oh, is not a feat. Man. And growth is not a feat when it's took that long to reach. Oh, you evolved that sweet. Not me, I quantum leap. Even your, <laughs> not me, I quantum leap. Even your demons want me on their team because I conquered things that haunt your dreams like Keanu Reeves and Constantine. <laughs> Let's go! What's poppin', Steve? They wanted me to dumb it down. But I can't. I was made hard-headed like Easter Island architecture. I'd rather show off for the cam, where every frame draws attention like prestigious art collectors. Oh, Simplicity is trash and predictable at that. I say something about a map and charms and treasure, and guess what we got? Just what you thought. Now nah, we already know X been a mark forever. See, your type is not a threat. Your type is not a threat. Comedic timing, I'll give credit. But your little disarming efforts are easily rendered non-effective. That shit ain't hard to censor. So I disregard the gesture. When every bar to ledgers, Paul McCartney, Sergeant Pepper, level far as Penworth. Listen, line for line, line for line, this is God's son peeping style from large professor. Everything shoot to kill till you look like Bushwick Bill, eyeless lion on a stretcher. What? Your mind plays tricks on you all the time, Steve. And I'm the type to apply a pressure that results in changed lives within the diamond market sector. I've been a little off. 
I've been a little off center since the ayahuasca ventures. Had me, on, had me on a shrine with gods in Mecca holding the corona with the lime like this is fine, but SARS was better. I'll make you, I'll make you wear your shame. Every thought is etched in scarlet letters. When that, de wow. when that depression starts to set and fog your head up, on the cloud above you with dark incentives like harp investors. Go! 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 Plus they roll the carpet out. Cause I hold the cards for now, like Russian oligarchs after the falling apart of Napoleon Bonaparte's mobile arms count. Ah, what? I, say that again. I said they roll the carpet out. Cause I hold the cards for now, like Russian oligarchs after the falling apart of Napoleon Bonaparte's mobile arms count. In other Woo! words, in other words, little man better slow the charge down. Sure he, sure he, sure he could be cunning, but I'm virtually money like your poker star's account. That's one. You, uh, hold it down, hold it down. Guys, hold it down back there, man. How are you, Kevin? <laughs> hey, one. You rap like Eminem in 2022. <laughs> you take that how you want to take it. <laughs> An uncanny ability to say a whole lot of nothing and make it sound super complicated. Your last few battles. I'm, setting, I'm still getting to the thing. I said, make it sound super complicated. Your last few battles started bringing up Area 51 and Anunnaki spaceships, and the, another former league champ was a flat earther, if I'm not mistaken. I'm confused. Because, <laughs> wow. wow. I, okay, I used to always think conspiracy theorists were weirdos trying to cope with their lack of achievements by believing they're the only ones woke enough to know these magical secrets, but if you and Lev <laughs> say it's legit, then I would have to believe it. Everyone knows you can't be the champ of the league unless you're an actual genius. I mean, I understand this whole, like, this idea that everything we've been taught is a lie, it's a bit intimidating. But A1's one of the only people brave enough to try to fix the situation. He's got a whole wall full of all his theories pinned up in his basement, and he's been tracing all the breadcrumbs and doing intricate equations. He says, he, he says he's going to find the aliens to put us in the simulation just so we can ask him where the fuck was Witty Smitty taken. <laughs> Free Smitty. Said, uh, look, it's fine if you want to believe we all come from a mothership, but if you want to bring it up at a battle rap event and I'm not up for discussing it, that does not mean that I'm some sheep that just has trust in the government. It just means I am not a fucking glutton for punishment. Like, a fucking conspiracy nut and KOTD bench warmer. That is the worst combination. <laughs> As if you needed another reason to be upset about world domination. Every oh! Oh! What? Oh! What? What? I, said, I said every major I said every major opportunity you get overlooked. At this point it's gotta hurt bad. Even Lou Cipher turned to Lou Pinnell on you and just walked off with the first bag. I'd be no. mad. <laughs> I said, I'd be Too mad real. that he did no work and got partial pay, but you posted, this is why I fucking hate battle rap, like you ripped your whole heart away. It's like when my girl comes home from work talking about she had the hardest day, so what do I do? Pick up a glass and leave a Chardonnay. I said the hand movements, leave it. I said the hand movements, leaving tattoo prints. You gonna wish it was the vaccine I jabbed you with. I said that exact same spot you had that gap tooth fix, a blade pops up out of nowhere like a Datsuk flip. I've seen you. I've seen you lose battles to opponents that just finished writing a minute out while you're that weirdo that has three finished rounds before the shit's announced. I have so many approaches for my opponents to figure out that no one has ever felt comfortable sleeping on me like Smitty Couch. So don't worry about yeah. Yeah. So don't worry about if, this, if how long I've been doing this or if the style's a little old-fashioned. These bitches still don't know how to get rid of me like closed captions. That's right. Yeah. 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 All right, let's round to an XQZ. Everybody make some fucking noise, man. Peace, we're on A1. Let's go. Let's go, A1. Let's go, Hold champ. it down. Hold it down. Let's go, Cut. Locked down, I sat back and worked my game out. Ain't fair now, I cook a rapper, burp a chain out. Went and got a belt. Full circle how that played out. Now every drop has effect like the halftime set with Prince throwing purple rain down. I'm always on go. 
My go-to sedative is nitrous. Been the highlight of the night since Jenny Hedger did the night shift. <laughs> I'm damn near cemented. I'm damn near cemented, even when I'm dead and lifeless. But before that sentiment arises, they gon' try and get a hold of my genetic code and splice it. I'm better than whoever. Folk just hesitant to like it. But every other line's another existential crisis. Got them questioning what life is. Level wise, let's just say I'm on what's best described as an unprecedented rise like residential rental prices. Mm. And petulance aside, I think no lesser of you guys, but I'll run through you all in seconds like Texas Tech offensive linemen if you're guessing who the nicest. Yeah. Every single line, but I was never into white shit. Too typical. I stay on that elliptical, still peddling devices, just never in a light. Oh, just never in a light to stress a federal indictment. I'm from Chemical Valley. We know plants could be just as detrimental as a pipe is. <laughs> What's poppin', Steve? Other than the Prozacs and Zans by the prescription. I hope you know that this is a landmine who stepped in. And my suggestion, stand by and listen while I grant my perspective. They think I'm spitting overheads like Paul Levesque before being bestowed with the McMahon line of succession. But in revision, but in revision, all you get is a pedigree most attempt, yet only a handful of guys perfected. What is it with you? What is it with you? Mittens or zoo? Either you can't find a direction, or he was destined to have an affinity for fitting into different camps by genetics. It's mm. ironic, right? Oh, a little bit of gas in a crowd. <laughs> now you want antidepressants? No. <laughs> and, and somehow that's going to be transcribed on Reddit as anti-Semitic by some trans right wing <laughs> feminist fan guy of exes. Like I give a damn. Oh, like I give a damn. Oh, and if I meant it, I'll hand scribe a from Yemen stamp right in his flesh just below where the tan line's embedded so he can't hide it with lenses. Wow. After, I, after I crack a bottle of Anheuser's freshest overhand style on the head of this defenseless man-child then dance on it as a grand sign of remembrance. Mazel tov. I ragdoll a rapper like Chara on the hash marks and clip wings quicker than a Randy Johnson fastball. The natural. So much that I'm un it's rare to be on par like scratch golf. I cut deep and add salt. You gonna one up me? You fucking crazy. Dumpster baby, who you kidding with the trash talk? <laughs> a mile in your shoes? That's soft. A mile in my. You couldn't at all. I'll leave past a bloodbath and cracked skulls, but cats follow my tracks by the flush cracks in the asphalt. Oh, and I got, and I got one important question to ask y'all. What? Did you know he be bill collector? One. <laughs> That's rough for anyone. Everybody make some fucking noise, man. Please. I forgot to mention Mittens Gang at the beginning, too. Okay. <laughs> me too. To be fair, Apex just told me A1's been on some flight distance shit lately. You're my guy, but let's fucking calm it down. There's a big difference between painting a picture with words and finding a bunch of rhyming proper nouns. And the way I see it, it's like drinking in the most overpriced part of town because a vendor just doesn't hit the same when the bars are this watered down. down. Oh, 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 you, you told Skrilla. Wow. You, I can't even do this. Wow. you told Skrilla. I'm catastrophic as the Black Tuesday market crash with tragic losses that were causing cats to off themselves in their tax free office. Example, you told Tipsy. I speak in lore with evil force like a Stephen King award-winning story with so whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> you know that game, you know that game Heads Up? There's like a clue on your phone. You ever mess around with that? Yeah. And your partner's trying to get you to guess what's on the screen before the time's up in the hourglass. Yeah. But they're not allowed to say the actual words, so they just end up describing shit really loud and fast. Yeah. Well, besides... <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, besides the, besides the fact that occasionally your vowels match, that's pretty much how you rap. I mean, you're not that imaginative. You're not that imaginative. Just pick a random reference and add some adjectives. We're just out here putting the ass in assonance, but we off that. Because you, you had some Jewish shit. I still think you're a weirdo. <laughs> for that Facebook thread where you made a bunch of comments about Jews running the media, which we do, but that's another topic. My point is... Every out-of-towner here makes their career earnings in one deposit. You've been stuck in GZ for like seven years and just don't know when to cut your losses. So you being this conspiracy theory, dude, I don't understand the fucking logic. For someone that doesn't trust anything, you sure as hell trust the process. You out here...
Three, you out here? Talk. That's another one of these. You out here putting the gully and gullible? That <laughs> underdog. That underdog that never breaks out, never gains clout, never gets a center stage bout. You've basically been applying to the same job for seven years, thinking any day now, and all that's on your resume is seven years of handing resumes out. If you can. <laughs> I said, if you think anyone's bucking you for a second, you are one delusional mess. I said, he thinks he's underviewed because, you know, talent doesn't have much to do with success. It's one dumb excuse to the next because it's tough for you to accept. You're just another dude that's been blessed with the Dunning-Kruger effect. The truth is... What? No one, what? The truth is... No one's trying to watch your beady eyes and creepy vibe. If KOTD brings A1 to the table, that's how you know the season's dry. If this was that 70... <laughs> I said, that's how you know the season's dry. Even in that 70s show, Topher wouldn't be the scene's leading guy. <laughs> nah, that was whack. Tell Topher don't get out of character. Next time you see Stephen Hyde, this ain't smart. What? Oh, this ain't smart. I'm trying to play darts with a trained marksman. You're not even a stepping stone. You're just a stone I use to keep the blade sharpened. So when I get sick of this, you start feeling it's time to call quits. I use bums like this as a punching bag to fight it off with. That's it. Ooh. Thank <laughs> you.